Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. And we begin with Simone Biles putting even more distance between herself and everyone else. Over the weekend, 10 years after bursting onto the stage as a teenage prodigy and two years after taking a break from the sport, the greatest gymnast of all time wowed the crowd with electric performances and staggering numbers to win her eighth all-around title at the U.S. Championships. That makes her the sport's only athlete, man or woman, with that many crowns to her name. Next up, maybe, are September's World Championships in Belgium, and after that, the Paris Olympics in 2024. But if she's competing, she's not yet saying. As she told the New York Times, personal goals and stuff, I think sometimes it's okay to keep it to yourself. I'm kind of at the age where it's like, yo, just let me be at peace, one thing at a time. Her new, more chill mantra It's just gymnastics. Yesterday, we told you about Franklin, which developed near Bermuda and became the first major storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. It hit Category 4 speeds before petering out. Now, with the storm door wide open, all eyes turn to Idalia, which is feeding off the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, picking up steam and could slam ashore tomorrow as a Category 3 hurricane on the west coast of Florida between Tampa and the Big Bend area near Cedar Key. Sandbags are in high demand, and some residents have already been ordered to evacuate as forecasters predict strong winds, heavy rain, and a possible storm surge as high as 11 feet. First, there was Blockbuster and its bulky VHS tapes. Then came Netflix, not the present-day Netflix known for its streaming, but the Netflix that replaced VHS with slim movie DVDs and shipped them straight to your door. Well, those days are almost over. Because of dwindling demand, the company is ditching its mail-order DVDs inside those telltale little red envelopes one month from today, on September 29th, 25 years after launching. For subscribers that never return their DVDs, Netflix says, keep them. What's more, as a parting gift, current customers can enter to win 10 random discs to be shipped on the final day of service. It's the stuff dreams are made of. 12-year-old Louis Lappy hit a walk-off homer to lead his California team to beat the Caribbean island of Curacao, 6-5 in the Little League World Series Championship Sunday. He flipped his bat and trotted around the bases before getting mobbed at the plate by his teammates. It's hard to beat this feeling, he later admitted to reporters. Also tough to beat will be the hero's welcome he and his fellow El Segundo All-Stars get in their California hometown. Plans are in the works for a parade on September 10th. If walk-off, game-winning homers are indeed the stuff of dreams, this is for sure just the opposite. An alligator the size of an SUV was caught Sunday in Mississippi, and it's believed to be a state record setter. The prehistoric behemoth was 14 feet 3 inches long, weighed 802 pounds, and had a belly girth of 5 and a half feet. How does that stack up to the biggest ever found? Louisiana tends to claim it with a gargantuan gator that measured 19 feet 2 inches and was so big it couldn't even be moved to be weighed. Fact or fiction? Hard to know. It was caught back in 1890, and without pictures as proof, some experts question the credibility. Still to come, the big reveal. West Point opens a time capsule dating back to 1829. But first, today's Kid News Quiz. How many all-around U.S. titles does Simone Biles have? Eight. More than any man or woman in gymnastics history. What's the name of the storm bearing down on Florida? Adelia. After 25 years, Netflix is ending what? Sending DVDs by mail. What's the name of the 12-year-old who hit a walk-off homer to win the Little League World Series championships for California? Louis Lappi. In today's Kid News Kicker, there was a lot of hype and a lot of hope leading up to yesterday's opening of a West Point time capsule. It dated back to 1829 when General Robert E. Lee was still a cadet. 
The lead box was found in May in the base of a monument to Revolutionary War hero Thaddeus Kosciuszko, and students dreamed it might contain boots or buttons from a uniform, a bayonet, class rings, or maybe maps. Unfortunately, the big reveal was just a bust of dust. One West Point archaeologist isn't quite ready to give up on it, though. As Paul Hudson told reporters, we don't want to think that they went to all the trouble to put this box in a monument and not put anything in it. We'll screen the silt and dust to see what, if anything, was in there. Before we go, it's time to say hello to our excellent educators, starting with Ms. Durham, a.k.a. La Senora Durham, and her Harper Hawks at Harper Elementary in Riverdale, Georgia. Mr. Smith and his Panthers at Parkview in Ripon, California. And Mrs. Gonzalez and her Wranglers at Collins Parr Elementary in San Diego, Texas. Teachers, our shout-out list is growing. Please sign up for your special hello in our Teacher's Lounge. Parents, if you'd like to underwrite the quiz, that information can also be found at kidnews.org. And a reminder, for those interested in an ad-free experience, please subscribe on Apple Plus or wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.